Hello and welcome back again to the Pro Tips for Football show. We're back again with another combined 11 podcast today and we're going to be taking a look at the FA Cup clash between City rivals Liverpool and Everton. Will Big Sam out-tactic Jürgen the German and will the Reds get stuck in another salty toffee mess? Joining me are Pro Tipsters Martin and Dan, so let's get ready for a couple of rows. How are you lads, Martin? How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Very well. Um, recovering from last night's amazing West Ham victory. Come on, you irons. Great Dan, result. Dan, how are you getting on? You, you just, uh, you, you have a victory as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, our first away victory in 13 games. Uh, <laughs> our first away victory in the league this season. First time we scored two goals since the 12th of August. Wow. Um, I nearly died of shock. <laughs> but then I remember, then I remember I actually backed it in the office and, um, I, I, I just thought, well, maybe I caused this. Maybe, maybe it's all me. <laughs> uh, they have a nice kit as well. I hadn't seen their away kit before. It's rather fetching. Well, the blue's the away kit, the red one. Yeah, the red one's nice. Yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. I think it's a, I wonder if it's a lucky Chinese thing. I mean, it's not been that lucky for us, but. Maybe, yeah, because red, red is might be. Yeah, good show. Red is their lucky color. Like, wasn't this? Oh, what was the Welsh team? Was it Cardiff? And all the yeah, they changed yeah. it up, didn't they? Yeah, yeah until the fans right. made them change it back. Yeah, they're in blue yeah. this season, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's the that's the bluebirds. That's that's their colour. Yeah, the red birds doesn't sound as nice. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. right. Look, uh, let's. Uh, b- before we start, even I should give you uh, our reminders. Um, you can if you uh, want to get in touch with us. You can get us on, probably Facebook is probably the easiest way where you can get in touch with all three of us. Uh, go to Facebook and look for Pro Tips of the UK. Otherwise, you can get me on Twitter, Pro Tipster Pod. Martin, where are you on Twitter? You can get me on Pro Tipster ENG. And Dan, where are you? M. Okay. And Dan? Uh, me, Pro Tipster Dan, all one word on Twitter. Magic. Same on Facebook too. Good stuff. Right. Uh, so let's get into this then. So Everton or uh, Liverpool are taking on Everton. In the FA Cup, and uh, no, actually, before I start, I want to ask you, lads, do, 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 do you care about the FA Cup? Uh, yes, Ooh. I do. Yeah, um, I think it's one of those things. Maybe if you just support a big team, it's you're not fussed about it. But I'd love to, as a West Ham fan, I'd love to win the FA Cup or just a cup. Um, yeah, I love the FA Cup. I love it. I love it from the first round as well. I always take interest at the qualifiers and stuff as well. I just really enjoy it. What say you, Dan? Um, maybe it's because my team won a trophy this millennium. Um, <laughs> I'm not as bothered. Um, I'd like, to, I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like us to win it, obviously. And another day at Wembley will be ace, and another European tour, brilliant. But um, it's all about the league at the moment for us. It has to be about all about the league. And the only, the only thing that I, I'm looking forward to the FA Cup for Boeing City years is that we can continue our little winning run. But that's it. I, mm. I don't really care otherwise. I can yeah, be honest. I get you. I, I used to love it growing up, but then I think when when the clubs stopped taking it so seriously, then I kind of stopped as well. Because if they're not going to put out full teams, why would I? Um, but you know, anyway. Sorry uh, to the FA Cup fans out there. Um, let's crack on then. So, uh, goalkeeper lads, uh, Martin, who have you gone for? Oh, well, John Pickford. This one's pretty easy though, isn't it? Yeah, we've all yeah. Got, we've all gone for the same here. In fairness, listeners, uh, we've all picked the Everton for Pickford because you know you need a hole in the head really to consider Mignolet. Um, Martin, we'll go back to you then. For give us your back four, please. My back four, right back. I've got for the youngster, the nineteen-year-old Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, in the centre, I've got Van Dyke and Michael Keane. And at left back, I've gone for the unorthodox James Milner. Uh, Dan, what's um, yours? We'll come back to you in, this, in a sec then. All right. Okay, mine. Um, Everton's Mason Holgate at right back. Uh, Virgil van Dijk and um, Michael Keane in, in, in the centre of defence, same as you. And Andrew Robertson at left back of Liverpool. Yeah, so I'll give you mine then as well while I'm here. Mine is my back four is Trent, Alexander Arnold, uh, Virgil van Dijk, uh, Gomez, and Robertson as well. Uh, Martin, let's go back to you then. So. Um, why have you gone with Keane and Milner? Well, I, I think Michael Keane, uh, he started the season pretty poorly, to be honest, but since Allardyce has come in, he's been given a little bit of, a little bit of a run in the team, um, about four or five games now. I think he's just starting to find his feet. Um, kept a couple of decent clean sheets against Chelsea and West Brom, and I just don't, I mean, I know you've gone for Gomez, but I don't really, 
I mean, you see him as a as a centre back, although that's probably his better position. Um, there's no one else apart from to partner Van Dyke for me that that's better than Michael Keane at the moment. Jagiel and Williams have been terrible this season, and Clavin, all right, he, he scored at the, the other day, but I wouldn't recommend Clavin or or Lovren. Um, and Matip is, is still injured, I believe, right? Mm. So Matip played. Um, last game came on as a 96 minute substitute <laughs> almost made my team until I remembered Virgil van Dijk <laughs> yeah I mean you've got to put Virgil van Dijk in just because uh, A he's pretty decent and B he's a ridiculous amount of money he's not, um, he's not had a good season though, has he yeah it's just a team that he's been in though I think I just right. don't think he's wanted to be there for a while um but yeah, Michael Keane and Van Dyke in the middle for me. I think it's a good centre pairing. Um, Matt, like, like I said, Matty was came close. Um, but yeah, Michael Keane. I, I like Michael Keane. I know he, he's not started too well uh, with his Everton life, but he's got the potential to be to be amazing. Well, I'm d- definitely outvoted on it, on it anyway. Um, but Dan, you've gone for uh, Holgate instead of a... Yeah, it's right back to a really tough position because um, Liverpool have kind of been scratching around either playing Go Gomez there or yeah. Trent Alexander-Arnold. And, you know, Everton, um, Mason Holgate, I, I, I think he's been he's, he's had the position more, more consistently. I, I do like Trent uh, Alexander-Arnold, but he's much more... I, I, I actually pulled some stats because I am that sad uh, <laughs> from whoscored.com. Yeah. And you look at you look at the difference between Holgate and um, Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold, um, he's got a better pass completion rate. He does more, he uh, has more crosses, more passes, um, more tackles actually. But he doesn't. He, he's not a defender. He doesn't clear the ball. He doesn't. He, 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 which is where Mason Holgate's got him. Mason Holgate's actual proper defender. And yeah, I know we love an attacking fullback, but I've got Robertson on the left side who's attacking. I can't have two attacking fullbacks, so. No, I, no I, with that I, attitude, I would... Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not with that attitude. No, I've got to be honest with you. I, I think Mason Holgate's um, slowly, slowly <laughs> proving into a good player. I mean, the obvious choice, um, unfortunately, he's injured would have been um, James Coleman. Yeah. Well, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, like it's a le- uh, the left the, the left back um, obvious choice is injured as well, Latham Baines. Yeah. Um, but you know it, it, it's all about um, which young player you're going to go with. I, I can understand why you might go for Trent Alexander Arnold, but I do think Mason Holgate is because because Alexander Arnold doesn't play consistently for uh, Liverpool at all because they switch mm. in him and Gomez. I just thought Holgate was the better choice. I think um, I noticed. I think Everton have been playing that John Joe Kenny a little bit as well in place of Holgate, haven't they? Yeah, he's, or... he's, he's poor Kenny. Mm. I mean, he, he's young, but um, mm. Holgate's held down the position um, pretty much since uh, uh, since Allardyce uh, has come in. Hol- Holgate's been a good man. Mm. It, it's, it's. I guess it's like Robertson on the left hand side as well. Since Moreno just got injured, Robertson had a chance to actually play left-back, and he's showing that, you know, he was worth the money that uh, Liverpool paid for him to to bring him from a hole. And I, th- I think he's great. Yeah, he's, Robertson's done all right. Um, I don't know, I think I'm a little bit aggrieved because I always thought he'd sign for West Ham, but that never happened. Um, but yeah, I, I went for Milner at left-back just because I think, I know he's not your orthodox left-back, but when he plays there, um, I, can't, I can't fault him. Yeah, actually, I pulled the stats on Robertson against Milner as well. And Milner, bizarrely, puts in five times as many crosses as Robertson does a game. Wow. Which I thought was incredible. Um, mm. Slightly worse pass, uh, pass um, percentage and average uh, passes, but um, he's comparable going forward. Defensive-wise, I think Robertson's, a better, uh, Robertson's got the better stats defensively. Mm. But Mil- Milner's not a left-back. You know, yeah. I, I don't actually know what Milner's best position is anymore. I don't think he does. <laughs> you know, I, I, th- I think all he's got left to play is goalkeeper, isn't it? You know, he's, he's done everywhere else. <laughs> well, you know, after Dirk Kous left Liverpool, they needed someone to fill his position of just play anywhere, you know? Um, <laughs> That's true. Right, we're going to have to come to some consensus though, lads. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll go with Van Dyke and Keane in the middle there. He's a, he's a made good arguments for Keane. Uh, which yeah. one will we go with on the sides though? Will we go with Trent Alexander Arnold or Holgate? And on the other side, will we go Milner or Robertson? 
Oh, I think I think we've got to mix it up. I think we, I don't think we can go both attacking no, players on yeah. on the wing. I think I think Dan well, made I'm a really good case for Holgate. Yeah, I'm happy to put. Uh, but then again, I'm happy to put Robertson in at left back instead of. I was going to say that two of us went for Robertson, two of two of us went for Alexander Arnold. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's your answer. So. Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. Uh, let's move on. We've, I think we've all gone for the same uh, back to... Or, 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 did, uh, no, nuts, we never said the, the formation, did we? Oh, dear listener, that's shocking. <laughs> that's shocking. It's a yellow card for Pro Tipster Paddy. We've gone with, uh, 4 2 3 1 because, uh, we, we felt like we wanted to give Big Sam a bit of a helping hand here. So we went with Everton's, uh, uh most used uh, formation. So, uh, our two midfielders sitting, <laughs> sitting behind the three attacking ones. We've all gone for the same here. Uh, Dan, do you want to say anything about them? Um, I don't think there is anything you can say. I mean, Emre Chan, fantastic play, Liverpool. Oh. Liverpool are going to lose him, aren't they? That's yeah, I can't believe he's not going to stay. Ridiculous, isn't no. it? And then, uh, Gigi Wijnaldum, who, um, I think had a bit of a rough start at Liverpool, but he's really settled in now. Um, is it Wijnaldum? Yeah, right. I, I can never remember. Well, I don't know, I pronounce it Wijnaldum, but I don't know how it's pronounced really. Winnie. Um, <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> Gigi. I don't know who else you can put in that position. I mean, Everton seem to have a bucket load of midfielders. You know, like Vlasic, Schneiderlin, Tom Davies, Idrissa Gay, you know, James McCarthy, Besic, Klaassen. But then they just they just don't make the cut. They're not good enough. No. Yeah, I, I, I completely I completely agree. It's, um, I always hark back to my own team because it's what I know. But we're in mm. the same situation. We've got like a bucket load of defensive central midfielders. Are all just. Bog average. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's what Everton have got, you know. Like, Schneiderlin should be a, a, a cut above the rest slightly, but he, mm. even he's not. And, you know, okay, um, I'm just glad it's not Jordan Henderson. That's all I can say. I, 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 I <laughs> really rate Sam. I, I, well, why is he, uh, does he, has he refused a contract with Liverpool or? Well, not for anyone? No. Emre Chan. Oh, um, I don't know the ins and outs of that. No, I'm very surprised that he's, Going to be leaving on a free. I don't know. Paddy, do you know anything? Been a Liverpool fan? No, well, just that. What I've heard is uh, just no. There's not really been anything tabled, and, or mm. and, you know, it's just. I think he's already made up his mind. But then again, lads, you know, like I've, I've said this to you a few times when we're talking about transfer stuff. Like, you know, I've I've been to Liverpool, I've been to Torino, and I know where I'd rather live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You no, know, and sometimes that's really just what it comes down to. You know, he'll be on the same money. He'll have guaranteed Champions League football, and he'll be playing with. Well, would he be playing with better players? Uh, eh, probably, but like, yeah, Torino's a nice place to live, lads. <laughs> you know, um, Chan Ch- has said it's not about the money. Yeah, well, um, just, read quick, just quickly read an interview with him, December first. He said, you know, I could sign for like, I know I could sign for a foreign team come January first, but I could also sign for Liverpool. So I, I think mm. it might be an amber because he's he's just turning twenty three, twenty four now. Mm. So I, I think it's like a kind of an, um, ambition thing. Like if Liverpool are, you know, not near the title, you know, you want to go and, and you've got the chance to go to Juve, who are like perennial title winners. Yeah, it's all about the medals. Isn't it? You don't you don't want to be another Steven Gerrard. <laughs> um, but what, what's his name? Um, uh, Nabi Keita, of course, is coming in uh, during the summer. So I mean that he he's a replacement for Can. You know what I mean? He he'll just slot in and take that place. So maybe Can, maybe Can is just thinking, well, what's the point in me staying around here? Otherwise, I'll, I'll just be another, you know, Lucas Lavia. And 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 it's hard not to say Lavia uh, there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I said it. Um, yeah, so maybe he just thinks that his his numbers uh-huh. up. Um, Klopp has gotten the man that he wants. He wants in. Uh, it'll be uh-huh. he'll be in during the summer, and uh, yeah, he's a proper box to box, old school kind of player, you know. So I don't. Know, I like Can. I'll, I'll miss him. I'll definitely miss him. And he, he's a really good player, and uh, he'll fit straight into Juventus as well because he'll be taking uh, what's his name's place. Uh, I always forget his name. The other German international. Kadira. Yeah, Kadira's place, so okay. it's like for like, you know. Um, oh. Right, it's rough. We're all agreed then on, on those two uh, defensive midfielders. As you probably know, 
podcast still grow by word of mouth. Show your support for the Pro Tipster Football Show by telling your football mad friends all about our podcast or by leaving a nice review for us on iTunes. Now, here's where we disagreed, uh, listeners, <coughs> in, when we were chatting with each other, uh, because, uh, as you'll know, the rules are that we can't pick suspended or injured players. So, Dan, please fill us in. Um, well, Mo Salah and Philippe Coutinho are both slight doubts to the game. Now, I think uh, Coutinho is suffering from a... Uh, a bit of contractitis. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe an inflammation of the Barcelona shirts. <laughs> 100%. Um, well, whereas Salah, um, I don't think Salah will play either. Um, and I think that's more to do with the fact he's, um, he's in Accra the night before. Uh, the uh, uh, CAF uh, Player of the Year thing. Was oh, okay. Sadio Mane's that as well. So theoretically, I shouldn't be picking him either. But... Um, I've not heard that Mane's definitely out. I've heard that, you know, you look on the news and they tell you that Salah and Coutinho are doubts. So I didn't mm. pick them. Now, it hurt me because most Salah's like amazing this season. And yeah, Coutinho, Barcelona crap apart, you know, it has been fantastic. But them's the rules. That's what I saw. <laughs> um, so I picked... He's I, got us I there, picked, Martin. <laughs> I picked um, Adam Lallana, um, Wayne Rooney in the middle, and Sadio Mane on the left. Um, and it was a tough one because um, Rooney was the easiest one for me. I think he's been outstanding in midfield under Sam Allardyce. And, you know, mm. um, the choice between him or Gilfie Sigurdsson isn't a choice for me. Mm. Um, I think Sadio Mane has been, been really decent uh, for... Liverpool on the left. Um, and Lalana, uh, um, I know he can play on the left, but he can also play on the right, and he's back to fitness, and he's better than anything Everton have got, so that's why I went for those three. Interesting. Um, well, I've, I've put Salah and Coutinho on the right and left, only because uh, I know the rules about injuries and suspensions, but they've only, they're only doubts, so unless they're completely ruled out, I've got to put them in for me. I um, played ten shiny pro tips to coins, neither plays. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. <laughs> and a shot of chili vodka. Don't like the shot of chili uh, vodka. No, 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 the shot of chili vodka, the shot of chili vodka has been spoken for. Someone I know reckons he can down it. Oh, well, wow. Good luck. And he's here next week. Nice. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. Um, You'll see it. I think the one person for me that I might consider, if Salah and Coutinho weren't playing, I'd, I'd put Mane in for Coutinho. Um, and Salah, I, I wish he'd played more, but the one person I'd consider instead of Lalana would be Yannick Balassi, because I really, I rate Balassi, personally. Uh, he's, he's just back from injury, isn't he? He looked actually really good, um, last, the last game, um, yeah. last couple of games, because he's yeah. just back from that horrific injury. Yeah, he was out of ages. Yeah, I think I think it'll be a massive boost for Everton. He was great at Palace, mm. fantastic at Palace. Um, yeah, agreed. But Salah and Coutinho for me. I'm just having a quick look here on on some of the news sites. It says that uh, oh, yeah. uh, the, the Liverpool have they haven't. There's no there's no uh, bid received yet for Coutinho, but they're open to it. And another one says that. Uh, if the sale of Coutinho goes, does go through, then uh, they could pay a bit extra and get in uh, uh, Keita a bit early, a couple of months early. Mm. Now, uh, I suppose, yeah, he'd still sit behind. I mean, they have plenty of attacking midfielders there now. Lalana, Lalana is back, and he's doing his best to look like uh, Joe Allen, which I really like. Well done, Adam. <laughs> I love the new hairdo. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> was it Steve McLaren said that Alexis Sanchez should go to Liverpool if uh, Coutinho, Coutinho goes? It's like, poor Steve. Poor, poor Steve. Wow. Steve left the cushiest <laughs> job, cushiest job in, in world football in Israel to come back and uh, slog it out in the championship. So, poor old Steve. <laughs> um, oh, lads, how are we going to sort this out now? See, Dan, Dan has us on the rules, Martin. Because we, I know. We well, well does he have us on the rules, though? Because their doubts <laughs> technically not injured. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, a tough one. Uh, we're gonna have to. I, I, uh, uh, I was gonna say I potentially say keep Salah in and get rid of Coutinho for Mane. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that because um, Salah's more of um like I mean I think I think Salah's more likely to play. Coutinho is just yeah. 
Philippe, I don't want to play for Liverpool anymore. Yeah. I think that's, that's a ruling, mate. But it, it, I think this transfer is nuts because if he goes to Barca, he can't play in the Champions League. Like, no, I've, I've won the league already as well, pretty exactly. much. So, do they, do they need him yet? Yeah, what's the point? Well, I, I, I saw, I saw that Coutinho wants, wants to go because Barcelona know they can pick up, um, Azul for nothing in the summer. Mm. And it's like, kind of like, if you don't go now, you won't. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, but it, I don't know, like, would, uh, you'd, you'd surely go for Coutinho over Ozil, though, wouldn't you? Would you? I would, personally. Yeah, I would. But I heard a rumour as well that, um, I can't remember who said it now, but one of the old Brazilian players said that the Brazilian lads at Barcelona don't actually get treated that well. Um, can't for the life of me remember who said that. Um, right. But it'd be interesting to see if he's listened to any of that. Really? That's yeah, mad. yeah. So like I need to try and find the How far them, is this going back? Is this going Neymar? Or is this going back as far as like... Oh, no, it's going back about 15 years, I think. Aldinho. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, huh, okay. Well, I know the Catalans are fiercely nationalistic people. I think it was, I think it was R9. I think it was Ronaldo, you know, oh, that's right. come out and said that in an interview. That's mad. Yeah, it was Ronaldo. Yeah. Barcelona was very bad for Brazilians. Real Madrid far better. Oh. Ah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, right then, so what are we going? We're going with Salah, we're leaving out Coutinho, uh, who else did you have, Dan? You had Lalana. Will we put him in, Martin, yeah? No, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put, uh, Mane in. So Mane. Salah, Mane, and what was your one? We're going with Rooney here. We, Rooney. I think we'll go with Rooney there, yeah. I think he's, I think he's great this season in the hole. Um, I don't think there's many better than him at the minute, to be honest. Um, I don't think I'd consider him up top. As a lone striker, to be honest. That's what I did. Yeah, why, why, why did you do that? <laughs> well, uh, cause I'm, I, I thought, okay, there's plenty of pace there with, uh, with Salah, Firmino, Coutinho, so Rooney won't have to do all that much running. He'll just get the ball and he'll be able to, he'll be able to hold up and, uh, the boys will run and then he'll only have to jog up a little bit. <laughs> the thing with Rooney is, no matter, <laughs> even if he is playing up front, he, he just loves to drop deep, drop no matter anyway. where he's playing. Yeah. Right then, so, uh, you're, uh, yeah, you, you had Rooney in the hole as well, uh, Dan, um, mm-hmm. so we'll leave him, and we're all gone for the same up front then, aren't we, Martin? We have indeed, we've gone for Firmino, um, yeah, no one else, Calvert Lewin's doing okay, but he's, he's not on his level, um, you know, Nias again, same again, he's doing alright for Everton, but, but again, not good enough. And Sandro, I don't know why they signed Sandro, um, <laughs> because he's terrible. And for Liverpool, yeah, you got Daniel Sturridge, who's just, oh, I don't know, he needs to move to sort his life out. Um, so Danny. yeah, for, yeah, Dan, yeah, forgot about him. Danny Ings, blimey. He needs to move as well. I think, I think he'll get a long move. I think he'll get so. a long move. Yeah. And I, I, it's a shame, but I don't, I don't think Solanke's good enough at the minute to do anything. I mean, he, he needs a run, but I'm, I'm not sure Liverpool was the best place for him to go in hindsight. No, he'd, he'd been better off going to a lower team. Yeah. Dare I say a West Ham or something like that. No, yeah, I completely agree. I would have, yeah. He'd <laughs> done well. Would have got more game time as well, so. Sure. So for me, you then. Yeah. So, uh, yes. let's, let's run. I'll just run through then the, the team that we've picked. Right for you. So we go with Pickford in goal. Uh, our back four is Trent, Alexander, Arnold, Virgil Van Dijk, Michael Keane, and Robertson. Then we have uh, Chan and Wyatt Wijnaldum as our defensive midfielders. Our attacking midfielders are Mosala, Wayne Rooney, and Mane. And up front then is Firmino. So not bad, huh? Pretty good. Yeah, we shoehorned a couple of Everton uh, <laughs> players in because it, yeah. it was looking like Rooney was going to be the only one. And it's a shame. It's a shame that um. Because like like if if Seamus Coleman and and Leighton Baines were weren't injured, they 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 they'd be definitely in 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 all of our teams, I think. Oh, for sure. Um, so then, predictions, lads. Uh, what do you think is going to happen on Friday night? Um, personally, I think Liverpool are going to edge it. I mean, I mean, you can't get away from the fact that Everton haven't won there um, at Anfield since '99. Um, so yeah, I think I think it'd be a good battle. May see the odd red card, but. I think Liverpool edge it. Dan. Draw. Draw. Um, yeah, the last four. That's a good um, the, uh, as, as far as I recall, it's, uh, when, when, when the draw was made, 
Liverpool have not won an FA Cup tie at home against Everton. They've all been draws. So, I'm going with the draw. That's not a bad shot. But as with any cup match, you've always got to wait for the lineups for these type of games. Yeah, absolutely. 1,000%. Um, because you never know who, who's going to get pulled. You know, for, for all we know, that Danny Ings might start. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Calvert-Lewin uh, could start. Mm. Rob Les could start in goal for, um, for Everton. Um, you know, the, the, the Klassen, Vlasic, yeah, Besic. You could have Solanke. Me. Actually, I thought... Um, I'll give you the odds here. So Liverpool are at 1.4 to win. The draw, Dan. 1.4? Yeah, the draw, Dan. Wow, that's Dan, sure. You do, you do well on the draw. The draw, the draw is 4.55. Everton, wow. 7.49. Um, lads, um, on the, the Burnley game, he played Solanke. He, he pretty much played a second string team, uh, on, uh, against Burnley and, um, the other day on, on, on the 1st of January. And, uh, I think he was very lucky that he got away with it. Because if it had ended in a draw, then Liverpool would have thrown it away with a second string team, but they, mm. they fluked a, a two, a two one win, and now Klopp looks like a genius because he played all these fringe players, you know? Exactly, and then Mark Hughes tried to do the same thing for Stoke, and look how that turned out. <laughs> I, 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 re- I heard a stat about how Mark Hughes is keeping his job. It's fantastic. Ah, come on. It's one- oh, yeah. One game a month he's won, on average, well no, he actually has one game a month, the last 15 months. <laughs> <laughs> Except November when he didn't lo- didn't win one, but he won twice in December to make up for it. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Hanging in there. Oh, lads, I'd, I'd love a go at, at club management. I reckon I could get one win a month. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll download the proper version of Championship Manager and or Football Manager <laughs> as it's called and, 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 and see how it got on. Uh, look, is there anything else uh, we want to mention about this match or will we will we finish up? Silence. I'll definitely... finish up. I did, I, did, I did see um I just quickly a funny when I was looking at the lineups and stuff, I read a funny thing about Trent Alexander Arnold. Um uh, Mignolet in an interview said that He's the player that gets fined the most at Liverpool because every morning when they come in for training, they have to fill in the results of a sleeping app, and apparently he gets the worst sleep, so he always gets fined. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd be buggered. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be in huge trouble, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> right. So look, uh, we'll finish up then. Uh, Martin, can you tell? Ev- can you remind everyone, please, of where you are on the internet? Yes, I manage the Pro Tips the ENG Twitter handle, or catch me on my personal one, Pro Tips the M, uh, and on Facebook, Pro Tips the Martin, three separate words. Dan, Pro Tips the Dan on Twitter, all one word. Pro Tips the Dan on Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook dot com slash Pro Tips the Dan, all one word. That'll find me too. Um, you could always swipe right on Tinder, but I'm not answering <laughs> texts at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you found someone. <laughs> He's in love. No, uh, no, not at all. Just can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, yeah. Um, and the easiest way of getting in touch with all three of us uh, is to go to Facebook and have a look for Pro Tipster UK. Make sure and like that page because from now on, uh, this is our kind of New Year's resolution. We're going to be putting live uh, live streams of our tips of the day up on the Facebook page. So. Um, yeah, the three of us are going to be up there most days. If not, then there'll at least be two videos and uh, we'll notify you on Twitter and on Facebook of when they're going to be. So make sure and, and give us a like over on Facebook. So look, thanks for listening, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow with another Pro Tips of Football show where we'll be looking forward to some FA Cup action as well as some Syria and the return of La Liga 2. You can, of course, listen to the Pro Tipster football show on iTunes, Android Podcatchers, YouTube, and our Pro Tipster blog site too. So please do us a favour and share the love and tell your football mad mates all about us and check out protipster.com for the best sports tips on the internet and we'll even give you money if you're good at tipping. So make sure and check it out. Right, that's it from us then. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks for listening, everybody. Don't forget to check out protipster.com where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Our handles there are protipsterglobal or get in touch on Twitter, protipsteren or protipsterirl. Bye.